the sun rose in Los Angeles, it marked the dawn of a new era for video games. 60,000 people are here at E3, not just to play, but to celebrate the power of the largest form of entertainment in the world. And you're coming with them. Over the next two days, Spike and Game Trailers are live at the Electronic Entertainment Expo. With exclusive reveals, superstar guests, and insider access to every major press conference. Is this the last hurrah for the PS3 and Xbox 360? Will Nintendo's Wii U become the next gaming phenomenon? And which game will triumph over the competition to become best of show? Will it be an established blockbuster or something entirely unexpected? From Metal Gear to Medal of Honor, Black Ops to Borderlands, and Aliens to Assassin's Creed, it's a make or break year for everyone and a chance for new innovators to seize the E3 crown. The time for speculation is over. This is Spike's E3 All Access Live. Hello, everybody. Everybody, we're live here for Spike's E3 All Access, and we are looking at downtown Los Angeles. The Kings are playing in the Stanley Cup Final, but we are here live with you guys, and we are so excited to have E3 All Access live in prime time. I'm Jeff Keeley here alongside Amanda McKay, and what a day it has been at E3, Amanda. Absolutely. If you've been following our multi-platform coverage since early this morning, then you've seen over two dozen exclusives already. That's right, and on the way, we've got world premieres of Hayden Halo 4 multiplayer for the first time, the Elder Scrolls Online and NBA 2K13, plus will be the first to unveil the gameplay from the highly anticipated Star Wars title, 1313. You're not going to see this anywhere else, and I promise you, it is going to blow you away. All right, well, right now, let's get caught up on this morning's big stories. All day, there's been a lot going on. Ubisoft unveiled an intriguing new game called Watch Dogs, and it immediately began trending on Twitter. A lot of talk about whether that might be a game for a next-generation system, not even a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. Well, we're going to have to wait and see. Earlier yeah. today, UFC head Dana White made a surprise appearance at the EA Games event and announced a new UFC game. Now, this was particularly unexpected because White has had some unkind words for EA in the past. I guess they're letting bygones be bygones. We'll have to see. I mean, I, I don't know what this UFC game is going to be, but yes, Dana is now aligned with EA Sports, so there'll be more news on that soon. Uh, now, not surprising to anyone here that Sony is gaining momentum on the strength of their media event which is going online live right now at allaccess.spike.com. Uh, if you go over there, you can see brand new demos of God of War and Last of Us. We've got some amazing PlayStation exclusives. Uh, you can look at our leaderboard right now and see that Sony is gaining momentum on all their big games. And we've actually been tracking uh, all day the trends, the social discussion around all these different companies. Microsoft had a, a great morning with their press event with uh, Halo 4 and lots of other big announcements. But Sony is quickly gaining here with news. And of course, tomorrow we've got the exclusive of access to Nintendo's presentation and the unveiling of the Wii U, Amanda. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Well, our good friends at Nerd Machine hit the E3 floor today before it even opened to see if they could discover any secrets at the Microsoft booth. Take a look. So, obviously, E3 is all about the video games, but how you present those video games is your booths. Some are small, some are big. Xbox has been kind enough to let us check out the making of their booth, which is twice as big as it has been in the past. Let's go check it out. Oh, channeling my inner fable. We're at E3, the day before it opens to everybody, and the nerd machine here is with a first look of what happens as they're setting everything up. So you already saw Fable the Journey is going to be right here. We're looking at uh, The Wrecketeer, which looks like an amazing game I want to play, especially because you get to destroy castles, which is the best thing to destroy. Uh, can't wait for this game, The Avengers Battle for Earth, because Joss Whedon just made the greatest movie ever about The Avengers. I can't wait till he makes 17 more movies. Um, as you can see behind me, there's construction everywhere. We're the first people to be here. You're gonna see Dance Central 3. You're gonna be covering that. And the new game for XBLA called Ascend that we're gonna try to get our hands on as soon as we can. So I'm gonna go try to find somebody and start playing that game right now. Good. You're gonna make a left of the gas station and then it's the first right. Uh, it's the second right. It's the first right. It's the, it's the first, check the Navi. 
It's like I'm driving with my mom. Cliff, Cliff 8. Let's play some Gears. We're uh, here in the Gears of War booth to uh, apparently play some new Gears of War with Cliffy B and the team from Epic, but, but nobody... Nobody's here. Hey, a convenient note. Zach, I will pwn you tonight at 8. Don't cry like last time. Cliffy B. You did cry a little. There was pollen in the air. I have allergies. Allergies! Allergies in all, they survived day one of E3 2012. Here with us now are Zachary Levi, Allison Hayslip, and David Coleman, better known as Nerd Machine. Thanks for joining us, guys. It's three of us this time. Is that our dance? That's our Nerd Machine dance. Still the three yeah. What's up with the throwdown there from Cliffy? You guys uh, taking on some uh, Gears of War action later? We're doing, yeah, tonight at the Xbox party, we're going to play uh, some, some Gears with Cliffy and the team from Epic. Josh Gomez, uh, one of my co-stars from Chuck, is going to join us, as well as Scott Porter. Right. Both awesome actor nerds. Like yep, going awesome, down. An awesome gamer nerd. An so. awesome gamer nerds. Well, that's right. what I, nerds is inclusive. Yeah. They're actors and they are nerds. That's, that's what right. I was. Yes. Are, are you worried? Are you good at Gears? I'm or? not worried at all. Oh, just, because they, just because Epic made the game doesn't mean they're going to beat us. I'm terrified. Are you? Yep. Yeah, I think you might. <laughs> Might should be a, a lot of saving. Scared about that. I see. Might should be a little scared. <laughs> might should yeah. be just a little bit scared. Well, one thing you're not scared about is the new Star Wars game. I know you guys had a chance to see that, right? What, what were your impressions? I mean, it was great because we were the first people to see the new Star Wars 1313 13, uh, demo, and it was unbelievable. Yeah, it was insane. It's like it's kind of like uh, like take like a gritty. Uh, the, the gritty world, the underbelly of the Star Wars universe. You're on Coruscant, you're a bounty hunter. The graphics are insane. insane. Uh, it's like kind of Uncharted-esque, you know, you're like climbing up things and shooting all the gameplay and stuff like that. And the uh, the demo booth we were in was uh, was excellent. I, I, I have a taste for certain booths and I think I yeah. have a taste for that booth. It was great. <laughs> well, you certainly won't be the last people to see Star Wars because it's coming up later on in the show, so you definitely want to stick around for that. But as far as everything else here at E3 2012, Allison, what have you you seen that you've been impressed by? Well, while these guys were checking out Awesome Star Wars, I was at the uh, Microsoft presser and highly impressed by the Halo 4 trailer they played at the beginning. It actually looked really sweet. But then they introduced Smart Glass, which obviously that's the theme for this E3, to connecting your tablet to your TV, to your phone, to your microwave, to the chip in your brain, like all of that connection. I don't know if I'm sold on it yet, but I'm interested to see where it goes. But uh, then they brought out Usher, yeah. and we had our own private concert. Or Ursher, yeah. as I call him. Uh, and I actually got to chat with him afterwards, and he was sweet and amazing. And I tried to get him to show me dance moves, and he wasn't having it. He was too cool. He was too cool for me. It's early on, but predictions for the biggest game of E3 2012. What do you think people will be talking about a week, two weeks from now? Zach? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I mean, I think I think the big titles tend to get the most love, and, and they have a lot of money put into them, and they, and they t typically are great games. Like Halo 4, I think yeah. that'll get a lot of love. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if we were really Black expecting Ops. Gears. Black Ops, Gears probably. Either. No, yeah. yeah I'm, so I'm really looking forward I'm to Gears. To play yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to play Gears tonight. All right. Yeah. Well, listen, guys, we really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for stopping by and being a part of our All Access crew today, of course. Uh, we're going to head over to Justine and Katie now, who have a little bit of an update on the social side. What's going on, girls? DK, thank you so much. We know who we think is trending so far at E3, but what do you think? Let's have a look at how the big three are doing on the social board. As you can see, Sony catching up to Microsoft. As that presser started, over 16,000 tweets coming in on the Sony side. Yeah, and also Nintendo, you know, in third, but their press conference is tomorrow, so we'll see what happens with that. Mm -hmm. And of course, guys, thank you so much for all of your tweets, but all you have to do to keep sounding off at allaccess.spike.com or tweet us at Spike TV using the hashtag GTE3. And of course, download the Yahoo Into Now app Tag the show and tell us what you think about the big three. Right now, we're going to take a quick break, but coming up, Lynn Sanity is about to hit your console. It is the world premiere of NBA 2K13 and a look at Assassin's Creed 3 when All Access E3 Live gets back.
back. It has been an incredible day here at E3 already, and there is still more to come. I'm Amanda McKay, coming to you from the Spike E3 2012 All Access Live Studio, brought to you by the revolutionary Samsung Galaxy Note, available from AT&T. All sorts of big events happening in Los Angeles tonight. The Stanley Cup Finals are going on right now at the Staples Center. It is insane out there, but we've got our own action right here. Coming up, we will have the world premiere gameplay from Star Wars 13. And of course, the so 13, 13, and of course, the Sony event is going on just south of us at the LA Sports Arena. Uh, here's what's happening on stage right now. They are showing us a close look at God of War. But right now, it's time for another exclusive world premiere. Let's over head over to Daniel Kaiser in the lounge. Thank you so much. And it's only a fitting, Amanda, that we are right next to the home of the Showtime Lakers and the Lob City Clippers. Because this next world premiere comes from NBA 2K13. And we've got Jason Argent from 2K here to help tip it off. First look at the game, Jason. You guys have had a huge success with this franchise. Great sales, great popularity. Let's take a look at the new version and tell us what we're going to see. You got it. We're going to see uh, the setup of uh, Oklahoma uh, Oklahoma City and the Spurs, who actually are, are playing right now. Actually, I think yeah. Oklahoma's up by a few. So, uh, yeah, we, we set it up for you. Taking place in Oak City. Uh, you know, E3 is a, an interesting time for us. We, we never have shown in the past any footage of the game at this point. We're right in the middle of the development cycle. Uh, but, you know, we're so proud of this game this year and the success we've had over the last few years. And the game looks really, really good already. Yes. Um, and, and you can see it right here. I mean, this is... Um, I, I thought we were, we were cutting to the actual live game that's happening right now. That's how good <laughs> the game looks, especially the broadcast uh, style that you have. That's a big emphasis for you, right? It is. Yeah, it's what we're known for. It's, it's you know, our, our one of our mandates is uh, we love when people walk into a room and can't figure out whether they're watching game footage or TV, obviously. And so I, I think that, that actually sort of speaks for itself. I think we're uh, continuing year after year to make incredible improvements. You guys have raised the bar so high with this series. From a gameplay standpoint, briefly, what are the big innovations that you're looking to implement this year? Well, you know, we uh, again, it's like, yeah, E3 timing is kind of interesting, it, it, kind of an interesting timing for us, um, but uh, we've got so many, so many amazing announcements to make coming down the road. Um, yeah. Everyone's going to be excited. Yeah. All right, well, we do know one announcement. You're talking about some exclusive DLC for people who pre-order this game are going to get access to the all-star DLC for NBA 2K13. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, you know, we, we our fans have been so amazingly good to us and, uh, oh, you know, over the years that we wanted to do, have a big thank you to our fans. And, and uh, you know, this year, anyone who pre-orders the game is going to get this full All-Star Weekend package for free. It's not only the slam dunk contest, which you're looking at looking at here, but it's yeah. the uh, it's the full All Star game from 2012, which, by the way, will be updated when the All Star game happens in 2013. Right. Uh, the Rising Stars Challenge, and uh, and the three point contest, of course. Now, will you be able to jump over cars? Because that's just gonna. I mean, that was the, the talk <laughs> of the slam dunk contest, right? Yet, yet to be seen. Yet to be seen. You'll see the uh, kind of the waterfall. Um, you know, m matching the buttons here. It, it's, it's totally pick up and play and a, bl and a blast. Really, really fun. Authenticity is key for you guys. Obviously, you, you pulled out all the stops with the cover athletes, MJ, yeah. um, you know, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. Can it get bigger? It can, and it will. I promise you that. Our, you know, our thing is we always have to go bigger. We always have to keep going. Um, everything bigger, better, more unique, um, and really changing the formula of video games and, and sports video games in particular, doing it, doing it better and different. What is the feedback, real quickly, from the fans that you got regarding last year's game? Because I mean, it got it yeah. reviewed very well, but what was the one thing that they wanted to see? Uh, I think more more of the same is is is, okay. is the truth. Yeah, I mean, we had a, you know last year was an interesting year with the lockout and everything going on, and yeah. and I think our development team delivered an incredible product. And this year it's going to be even better, and uh, the, the fans are excited, and, and uh, we're happy to have them with us. All right, well, Jason, we really appreciate you taking the time to come by and show us the first ever footage of NBA 2K13. We're really looking forward to it. Now, on the way, we've got an exclusive first look at Elder Scrolls Online and God of War Ascension's multiplayer. But first, Jeff had the chance to see something we've been excited for since seeing it for the first time at last year's E3. Of course, I'm talking about Assassin's Creed 3. Take a look. 
All right, the E3 exclusives just keep on coming here on E3 All Access Live. I'm now here with Alex Hutchinson, who's the creative director of Assassin's Creed 3. And Alex, you've had a very busy day. We saw you on stage at the Ubisoft press conference and the Sony press conference. Uh, so much you're talking about for Assassin's 3. What's new at E3? Yeah, so this year we really wanted to blow it out in terms of scale. So uh, we've had a long time to work on the game, and so we wanted to really show people how broad and deep the game is. So uh, at UB we showed the frontier, so it's all snow, weather, animals. Wolves, uh, wolves, right? Connor taking it to the wolves. Yeah, it's all about wolves this year. And then uh, we also showed a, a big exclusive for Sony, which is naval gameplay. So obviously, if you know your history, you know the revolution wasn't just one on land. It was also one on, uh, uh, on the high seas. So we built a full simulation again with full weather, dynamic waves, dynamic wind, the whole works. There is so much to this game. I mean, you guys are obviously, you know, going around uh, sort of the, the nor northeastern seaboard of America. Are uh, you going to meet some uh, familiar historical characters, right? George Washington, Benjamin yep. Franklin. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we thought it was uh, uh, getting closer in terms of time, in terms of history. So uh, these are people that are on, you know, the American, uh, uh, the American cash. So uh, hopefully people are excited to sort of meet our digital recreations of them. And going to some famous American cities. And speaking of one, uh, Boston, we've got an exclusive look. You're not going to see anywhere else at E3. It's uh, Connor in Boston, right? Yeah, so it's a little bit of a scene from the middle of the game. There's lots of sort of secondary gameplay loops that you can uh, get engaged in. So side quests, other activities, things you can pick up. So we wanted just to show you a little bit of, uh, of how the new cities look, of how they play, and uh, of how I this love the weather. I mean, that's so all throughout the game. You're going to see different seasons even? Yeah, so there's summer and winter versions of all the maps, whether they're Boston or New York or the frontier. Um, and you also get sort of more ambient stuff like the sort of light summer rain that's falling here. Well, and Connor's obviously the typical traversal that we'll see from all Assassin's games uh, is uh, in full force. And this is amazing. I mean, so you got the hay, of course. Right? Yeah, we thought we'd update it a little bit, a bit of moving cart action. So uh, there's still there lots of nods to the previous games, uh, but we really wanted to make sure it was uh, moving nice hay. New, fresh That's new, right? <laughs> moving, moving hay, hay. exactly. Uh, so I mean, let's talk about Connor as a hero, because obviously this is the you know, first time you've had a new Assassin's hero in a number of games. Uh, he's got some new abilities here, right? And so, the yeah. tomahawk, right? Yeah, new, all new weapons, all new abilities. And the last thing we wanted to show here, uh, obviously there'll be a much bigger demo on the uh, on the floor at the show for people who are here. Uh, but we want to show one of the new moves, which you can go into corner cover at any point and then assassinate uh, in that position. Taking them down, it's amazing. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3 going to be a huge game when it comes out in October. There's so much you guys are showing, and you know I'm sure there's there's Desmond. There's all these other things we have to talk about uh, over the next few months. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Hopefully we'll see you again. Awesome. All right. Well, Alex, thanks for an exclusive look at Assassin's Creed 3. And we have so much more coming your way. We are just a few minutes away from the gameplay reveal of Star Wars 1313 and more exclusives. It's all right here, live on Spikes. See you in just a few minutes. Awesome, man. Very cool. All right, Spikes E3 2012 All Access Live continues here from downtown Los Angeles. It's been a day filled with big moments, and they just keep coming. We still have Halo 4, the world premiere of Halo 4 on the way, and a look at God of War Ascension's multiplayer. Right now, it's time to visit the world of rogues, mages, and heroes. That's right. Here is the world premiere teaser trailer for The Elder Scrolls Online. We'll have the first gameplay tomorrow. Now, tomorrow morning, we'll be bringing you an exclusive first demo of Elder Scrolls right here on our stage. 
That's right, and you probably heard the news that the Sony Showcase has uh, just wrapped up now, so that's it for PlayStation. They are trending. Uh, and one of the big announcements in that press conference was that their third-party characters in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, including Big Daddy. Well, now we've got the world premiere first look at Big Daddy gameplay you didn't see in the press conference. Check it out right now. All right, Omar, you have just announced that Big Daddy is coming to PlayStation All-Stars. It was announced in the press conference, but right now we are showing the first footage anywhere of Big Daddy in action. And he is a pretty menacing presence, right? He's uh, an amazing character. Uh, probably one of the largest characters that uh, is in PlayStation All-Stars, actually. And if anyone's played Bioshock, you know what a brutal, sort of massive amazing monster that Big Daddy can be when you've enraged yeah. him. And so that was super important for us to capture that essence of him. And uh, I think we've done a pretty good job. Crap, I can still take him down, though, if he wants, right? Well, it, it's a fight, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, they'll, they'll duke it out. And of course, uh, the little sister is not far behind when it comes to Big Daddy. Oh, so he'll have a little, a little sister beside him? Little sister absolutely makes an appearance and okay. uh, helps him along in some of his supers. And uh, of course, he's always in there with his charging attacks and his plasmids. And, his uh, drill, right? Of drill course. right through Kratos? Would not be Big Daddy without the drill, and he makes heavy, heavy use of the drill. Absolutely. He's going to be available, like, from day one. This is not some DLC or anything like no that, No right? DLC. He is just a part of the cast. Yep. Wow. All right. Playable Big Daddy. Go up against him or play as him. PlayStation All-Stars. Looks pretty phenomenal. Thanks for the first look. Thank you. <laughs> There you go, Big, Big Daddy, Daddy and the little sister along for the ride awesome. in All-Stars. I'm sure there are more third-party characters to unveil, but that game uh, looks awesome every time I see it. It sure does. Now, Star Wars fans, the moment is almost here. You're going to see Star Wars Universe like you've never seen it before, and only Spike has the first look at gameplay from Star Wars 1313 coming up. Plus, we've got developer David Cage straight from the Sony event to yep. tell you all about pushing the boundaries of gaming technology. That's just minutes away, but first, Here's an exclusive world premiere of God of War Ascension's multiplayer. Check it out. Prove your worth in battle, Spartan. The multiplayer is, is more about uh, to going from unknown hero to a god. And so it's it's basically you're ascending up, up the tree and up the rank. And you're, in essence, almost following in the footsteps of Kratos. So lots of new things coming to God of War. Multiplayer chief amongst them. You guys are showing off some new stuff here at E3. What are you talking about? We're actually showing off a new game mode, and it's called Favor of the Gods. It's basically three Dawn points, um, and then from there, kills, traps, chests, everything gets you points. So dominate or alter points, and what you're trying to do is capture everything that you possibly can and help your team actually kill the beast in the very end. Providing incentives for players is also a big thing in multiplayer. What type of unlocks and type of character progression can we expect? We're actually unlocking weapons, uh, weapon skins, we're unlocking armor types, we're un unlocking perks, we're unlocking challenges, and anything else that we can figure that we can upgrade. All right, well, we'll look forward to that. The footage looks great. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you guys. Go. All right, well, Sony has just pulled ahead on our SMT leaderboard. Uh, earlier today, Microsoft was ahead, obviously, because of what they had done uh, with their press conference. But now Sony has pulled ahead with all those big announcements, including God of War, which you just saw, uh, and beyond, the big announcement from David Cage, awesome. a new game starring Ellen Page. And uh, there's lots more, I think, coming from Sony, even in this show. So don't Fantastic. go anywhere. Well, right now, we're just moments away from Star Wars 1313, Daniel. Yeah, immediately following that, Katie Linendahl and I will break down the footage to uncover its secrets. So stick around. All right, and uh, then we'll sit down with game designer David Cage in a little bit. Check them on my Samsung Galaxy Note. Amanda's working there on the Samsung Galaxy Note right there. That's right. Coming up after the break, Jeff is going to be catching up with game designer David Cage, and you can check them out on my Samsung Galaxy Note. Here we go, guys. This is something I've been waiting for. I'd officially kick off E3 All Access Live uh, with something very special. We continue live here from our LA Live studio where the Sony event just ended, closing out the day here at E3. Uh, but we got a lot more for you. And last Thursday night, GTTV was the first to announce Star Wars 1313 on our pre E3 show and immediately began trending worldwide on Twitter. And that was just the announcement of the game. 
And now it's time to get into an exclusive first look at the gameplay from 1313. With me is the game's creative director, Dominic Robiliard. Very Close. good. That's great. That was good. Well, Dom, great to have you. Uh, this is already one of the most talked about games of E3, and no one has seen anything. And I think last week people were like, they, they loved it, the idea of a mature right. Star Wars game. Mm -hmm. uh, so why don't you set it up for us that people may not have heard about it. This right. is a new take on Star Wars, yeah. M-rated Star Wars, mm -hmm. gritty, real. Uh, mm -hmm. And where is it set? So it's set in this place called 1313. Uh, and I don't know how familiar you are with Coruscant, but it's actually made up of thousands and thousands of layers, yep. uh, which we call levels, and level 1313 is the one that you're actually on in this game. All right, and it's, it's where the criminal underworld lives for Star Wars, basically. Right, and you play a bounty hunter. What you're about you to see here is real gameplay, in-game footage. This everything. is your own engine. Yep. Everything we're yep. going to show today is in-game, in-engine, running okay. in real time from the demo. Yeah. All right, here we go. Well, here's the first look at in-game action. It's a deep breath. It'll be the last fresh air you'll get for a while. Fresh air is overrated. Let's see how you feel about that after you get a thousand levels down. All right, so I know what you're saying. Yeah, that looks like a great uh, CG trailer for this game or something <laughs> like that. But no, that was actually an engine. And now it's we're cool engine, yeah. about to prove it because now we're going to show right. people real gameplay, player-controlled gameplay that you're showing live at E3 tomorrow. Right? right, so this section we're about to look at is part of our epic platforming, death-defying platforming. Um, and the situation the demo has got from bad to worse and the guy that you're with is a bit of a maniac, and he's okay. made life very difficult for you, and you're gonna follow him out of this ship. All right, get ready to literally be blown away here. Here is a real gameplay clip from Star Wars 1313. Was that really necessary? <laughs> nope. There you go, guys. I promised it was going to deliver. Dom, congratulations. Uh, now, that is real time. It's running on a high end PC with right. NVIDIA hardware, That's right? That's correct, yeah. We've developed the demo on PC. Wow. All right. Well, it's uh, phenomenal to see how you guys are pushing technology, in part mm -hmm. because of this partnership with ILM. Right. Now, we've got another gameplay clip we're going to show people as well and talk right. a bit about it. Now, this shows some of the, the combat in the game, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we make a, a, a big effort to make sure that the game transitions seamlessly in and out of, of gameplay and cutscenes so you're not sure when you're in control and when you're not. Um, and this is actually kicking off one of the combat sequences in the beginning of the E3 demo. Wow, this is amazing. So this is obviously, you know, the, the typical kind of, you know, duck and cover gameplay mm -hmm. in other games, but you guys, I mean, have so many effects going on, so right. much animation. I mean, there's a lot of new technology being used here, right? Absolutely. So we've been lucky enough to bring artists from ILM and Skywalker Sound and actually have them on team with us developing this, this game. Um, and there's some of the, uh, the extra gadgets and weapons that you can expect to have as a bounty hunter. I think he's about to use one right now. Right. It's amazing what you guys have done, there obviously, in terms of the, uh, you know, the in-game action and mm -hmm. you know this level of fidelity. I mean, it's uh, the whole game's going to feel this this ambitious in terms of you know detail. Absolutely, I think wow. you know it's what people want to see this darker, grittier version of Star Wars. Right. And that's what we're, we're working to deliver. Wow, it's amazing. There, there he goes right off the edge. So <laughs> this is obviously, you know, it, it's not a tech demo. It's a real game. You yeah. guys are working on it. Uh, I think <laughs> you're going to blow a lot of people away I hope uh, so. this year at E3. I know you guys have been working in secret at LucasArts on this we project, have, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's so exciting to see what you guys are doing with it, with this game. Uh, so no, any release date or anything yet, or this is just can't, sort of can't talk about release dates just yet. But stay tuned throughout the year, and we'll uh, we'll have more to tell you. 
Awesome. Well, Dom, thank you so much for this partnership showing off this game. It's going to be, I think, one of the big uh, games that everyone's talking about this week. Right. And we were honored to be able to show it off oh, first well, on thank Spike. You, Jeff. Yeah, thanks. Dom, thanks Great. so much. We'll see more of this game hopefully soon. Uh, now that you've finally seen it, let us know what you think. Were we right? Was it pretty impressive? Well, hit us up on Facebook or on Twitter at Spike TV with the hashtag GTE3. Uh, we'll see much more of Dom, I'm sure, in the future. And speaking of big games, earlier I caught up with Sony game developer David Cage, who continues to break new ground in video game technology with his brand new game Beyond. We've got some exclusive footage. Take a look at this. All right, David, so you just announced your brand new game from Quantic Dream called Beyond. Uh, tell us about it. It's the story of a young girl called Jolie Holmes, and um, she has a link with an invisible entity floating around her. And it's a story of her life through 15 years, and telling her how she's going to live with this entity. Interesting. Now, uh, you know, the sequence we saw in the press conference was was something so different, I think, than Heavy Rain. And it seems that you're hinting at you know, a more action-oriented game, whereas Heavy Rain was very much, you know, a, a deep and in some ways dark drama. Um, are we going to see a lot of blockbuster action in this game? After Heavy Rain, we wanted to create something that would definitely have more action element in it and, and show that we could use the same format of interactive drama to create a more action-driven uh, experience. So um, there is much more direct control Control, much more, you know, spectacular action and uh, breathtaking sequences in Beyond and in Heavy Rain. I don't know if people noticed in the, the video in the press conference, at the very end you said, you know, starring Ellen Page. Um, she's the main actress in this. It seems like it's a very big role for her. Honestly, we were not interested in having just someone's name on the back shop just, just for marketing reasons. We really wanted a close collaboration and we wanted this actress to bring a talent to, to the piece. But then when we started thinking about who could be uh, Jody, this very um, strong but fragile character at the same time, it, it, it's very, very rich and dense character and, and the name of Ellen Page came very naturally. So we just get in touch with us and her script and we met and, and obviously she liked the script and this yeah. is how everything started. So the name of the game, Beyond, suggests something, you know, beyond the main character. You've talked about this this entity that she has a link with. Um, are we going to get to sort of control that entity or influence that entity in addition to controlling Ellen's character? Yeah, actually, in the story, we know little about this entity, what it is, who it is, and where it comes from. All we know is that it's probably something living between our world and, and the other side, in a way. So, uh, yeah, the player will have to control Jody and the entity at different points in the world. Tell me about the, the evolution of this idea for Beyond. You know, after Heavy Rain, we had different options, and one of them could have been just to make another Heavy Rain and just, you know, same concept, same story, or, or just change a little bit the story and the characters and have another game. But with Sony, we wanted to wait until we, we would have something new to say, sure. because I think that this format only works if you have a very strong story and really something strong to say. So uh, I, uh, I worked on a script, and uh, and the team worked very hard on the technology, and, and, and this is how everything came together and the script is about it's it's about death it's about what's on the other side it's about being different it's about many many interesting things is it still a, a relatively kind of linear script or is this a story where the character can evolve in different ways the, the difference between heavy rain and, and beyond is that heavy rain was probably through four days of the life of these characters where beyond is through 15 years of the life of Jody. but as you play her at different moments in her life it's like having different characters in many right. ways so that's that's very uh, that was very exciting for me to write how a character could evolve through time yeah. how the different things she's going to leave are going to change her as she gets older etc etc so that's that was very appealing to me all right well david uh, you always do phenomenal games uh, phenomenal stories so we can't wait to hear more about beyond and it's coming exclusively to the playstation 3 in the spring of 2013 thanks david thank you they're coming All right, if you're a fan of GameTrailers.com, you're well aware we do a series called Pop Block, where we take an in-depth look at trailers and gameplay from the site. Right now, we're going to dig into this amazing Star Wars 1313 so footage amazing. and do a little telestrating as appropriate. So awesome. My mind is still blown. <laughs> and if it's blown, this is not your Star Wars Lego, mind you. Yes. Amazing attention to detail. Right off the top, I'm actually going to stop down and showcase something you probably didn't see. A little R2-D2 action. Right there. And he's a little dark, if you notice what I'm saying. Yes. These graphics are still so mind-blowing. I think people are still recovering from what they just experienced. But uh, 
Here we go. We're taking a stroll out. The graphic detail is absolutely the lighting effects, and boom! What do we have there, Katie? Again, action never stopping. And I want you to notice something right here. Gonna pop down, gonna give you a little telestrator action. Notice this droid that comes out of nowhere. This is gonna be a pivotal character. He's picking up the case and he's walking away. You know he's gonna come back into action. Yeah, right away you can see that the gameplay style is different than what we're used to from a Star Wars game like Force Unleashed. This is a, a more uncharted feel, a third person action game. You can see, you know, how the action picks up right away. You can see the influences here, but it's and intense. much more mature. I want you to see what happens right here. He's actually gonna snap his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Again, talk, playing to that more mature audience, a little different type of gameplay. And even with the sparks coming down, I know this is really nerdy. Yeah, let's pause, look at that. Pay what? attention because as this trap, this hatch actually opens, those sparks, they're gonna fly right out the window. Right, so the particle effects in the game, you see them going out the window now that that hatch is open, which is just absolutely amazing to expect, like they said, that this is gonna persist throughout the entire experience with Star Wars 13. Uh, 13. So this is absolutely amazing. Excellent job, this game is looking great. And in a few minutes, we're going to take a moment to oogle over this ourselves, actually. But when Spike's E3 2012 All Access Live continues, Jeff Keighley has a taste of Halo 4 that you will not want to miss. We'll be right back. Woo! Spike's E3 2012 All Access Live continues from Los Angeles with more exclusives than anyone else, plus more chances for you to interact with us. Remember to download Yahoo's Into Now app and tag our show to chat with other fans and with us. But now, you've waited long enough for this one. Just prior to E3, Jeff had the chance to go to Seattle and get a hands-on demo of Halo 4 Spartan Ops Co-op Mode. Enjoy. So here I am at 343 Industries in Kirkland, Washington, and Xbox has been kind enough to invite me up here to go hands-on with the multiplayer of Halo 4 for the first time. And I'm here with Josh Holmes. You are the creative director on Halo 4. Josh, a big day for you guys. You opened the day with the big unveil of campaign, and now tonight we're going to get a first look at multiplayer. And this is a pretty ambitious multiplayer mode. Huge. Yeah. The video that we showed in the press briefing today, you saw that giant ship that came over Master Chief. That's the Infinity, and that's the foundation from which all of our multiplayer experiences uh, are unleashed. So you literally, you know, create your own Spartan, your own soldier, you're on the Infinity, and then I guess there's sort of two paths you can go down. You can go down War Games, which is the competitive multiplayer, and then Spartan Ops, which is the sort of more narrative-focused co-op. Exactly. So War Games is uh, essentially a training exercise that allows Spartans to head into combat against one another on the combat deck. And then Spartan Ops is a, a cooperative, episodic experience where each week we're going to have a new episode of a show that launches and players will be able to invest in this group of characters that are aboard the Infinity. And then we'll have five missions that launch each week along with that episode that they'll be able to go online and play with their friends and kind of drive the story forward. Let's talk about the narrative links between all these different elements of uh, Halo, because for the first time, it feels like multiplayer is really going to have a story that evolves over time. We made a decision about three years ago that we were going to make sure that instead of uh, segmenting off stories and putting them in safe little bubbles that didn't interfere or interact with the mainline game story, that everything would matter, that everything would have connection points. They're all standalone narratives, they're all going to be completely compelling and understandable, no matter what angle you go in from. So you get a little movie, you get uh, five new missions as part of this season, so you're really kind of moving the story forward, and it sounds like this is going to sort of bridge the gap between Halo 4 and what comes after it, which I assume is Halo 5, right? Yeah, this is definitely something that we see being that reason for players to keep wanting to come back, keep, you know, playing alongside their friends, and feel like for the first time ever when they're playing the multiplayer experience, they're actually able to propel the universe forward in some way. Oh, wow, what a way to close out day one of our coverage from E3 2012. And congrats to our Twitter winners. Each one of you will receive a console signed by our guests. The winners are Blondie Rock is getting a 3DS. What's your idea? Scored the Xbox 360. And Balding Boy, we got some help for you with a PS3. Congrats. Yeah.
Good stuff. Well, absolutely. It's been an amazing day for all of us here. I think uh, day one of E3 All Access Live. A uh, lot of big highlights. Uh, we just had Star Wars 1313 that world premiered. Uh, all that gameplay. We, we've been lucky enough to have yeah. seen it for a few days. So we're happy to share it with you guys. Uh, that game looks absolutely amazing. And then, of course, uh, at the Sony press conference, they just unveiled uh, the first really? gameplay. Oh, here's Star Wars right here. Amazing footage here of this game in action. And uh, we've seen it. We've, we've seen a full demo. They're doing like a, a six to ten minute demo wow. at E3 that uh, uh, Zach Levi got to see a sneak peek of, so that was very cool. Uh, also at the Sony press conference, they unveiled The Last of Us from Naughty Dog. We announced that game at the VGAs. They just premiered a brand new gameplay demo that you guys can go and see yeah. on GameTrailers.com right now. Uh, and it's it's pretty spectacular and pretty epic. Reminds me of Uncharted, but again, sort of like darker, grittier uh, action. So uh, it, it's cool. A lot of games this year are uh, All impressing. All about the zombies. All about it the is the like. zombies. We got Zombie, zombie U. Zombies in action. Splinter Cell's back. Zombie U we I'm have tomorrow. I'm a sucker for zombies. Yeah. I have to admit it. Lots <laughs> of good stuff. All Watch right, God. guys. Well, lots more coming. We're back tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Pacific, 11.30 a.m. Eastern on allaccess.spike.com. And then you don't want to miss 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. We've got the exclusive on the reveal of the Wii U and the first games. It's all right here on Spike. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't miss it. Thank you.